Hello and welcome to GPTV St Kilda and Bayside Report. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Jeremy Rosens. And Jeremy, you're going to have to be gentle with me today. It's been a long time since I've been on the St Kilda and Bayside Report, so I might struggle through this. We'll get you through, Phil. Thank we you. Will. Be gentle with me, won't you? We Promise. do it all weekend. We can do it today. Good. Well, tell me about the show. Where is this whole show up to these days? Well, you know, it's very similar to a lot of other shows about real estate where we talk about sales that have happened. Yes. And we talk about some trends in real estate. We talk about the real estate environment, the movers and shakers, and then we talk about some of the stuff that we've got coming up. And you're doing a lot because the St Kilda office is now truly and well established, doing big things in St Kilda. We and are. Elwood We're into our third year now. Phil. West St Kilda and Everywhere. Albert Park, straight through to Port Melbourne. Yep. You're having some fun? Having a great time. And the team is loving it as well. And I've got to tell important. you what a great team it is. You are surrounded by really good, energetic young people. We are. Or I am, shall I say. Now, Phil, I want to talk a little bit about where we are because this place, place is sensational. Special place. In my opinion, as humble as it may be, this is probably the best block of apartments in East St Kilda that's ever been built. Well, viewers, I would suggest to you, even if you're not interested in buying anything, drive down Sidwell Avenue because this building is a showstopper. Uh, and we should really explore the history to this building because clearly it was built by somebody who had bucketfuls of money yes. because it's on this massive elevated parcel of land yes. and it's just so statuesque, it's incredible. There used to be a tennis court out the back and there's two sense. apartments on either side right. that, were, that are now apartments that were maids quarters. Oh, okay. So right. I don't know about you, I don't have maids quarters in any of the houses I've ever lived in but they've got maids quarters here. Well, and what an incredible building it is and what a fabulous apartment with its polished Beautiful. timber floorboards, its amazing ceilings. The floor plan here is incredible. Lounge room, dining room, grand entrance area. We should tell the address. Two of the biggest bedrooms. I'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. Two of the biggest bedrooms. A limestone floored, magnificent renovated bathroom, a kitchen that's drop dead gorgeous and something that you'll rarely find at an apartment, which is a separate laundry. All of this Indeed. in a price range that I would say to you is ra is rapidly diminishing. It is six hundred and fifty to seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars is the price range here. I reckon that's a pretty sharp price range. So where are we, Jeremy? Apartment number seven at number six, Sidwell Avenue, in the heart of St Kilda East. That's where we are. From. Walking distance to the new groove in Carlisle Street, so Very you've got and shops happening. and public transport on your doorstep. And this really is one of East St Kilda's best streets. It is, and this is one of East St Kilda's best blocks. So tell me what's been going on in the St Kilda office. You've been a very to busy be couple of months. Strength to strength. I know your March was uh, a record month for it was. you. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was a big month. We had some big sales. Yep. Um, and uh, probably the highlight of them, Phil, if if I could pick one or two, would be. Uh, one that you were very close to in Charnwood Road in St Kilda. What an amazing house. We yeah, actually fabulous. filmed last time there. That is one of the most gorgeous homes, beautifully renovated, and it's sold, Phil. Unfortunately, the price is undisclosed, and viewers, we're sorry that we can't disclose a lot of these prices, but when a vendor or a buyer says, could we have the price undisclosed, as much as we want to scream our results from the rooftops, uh, we do obviously defer to the wishes of buyers and sellers. We so do. we can't disclose that. Though I can say that we were quoting in excess of $2 million and it did sell in excess of $2 million. But Charnwood is a great spot, a leafy tree-lined street with historic homes in it. And that one, congratulations and a shout out to the vendor because the renovation she did there was Beautiful. sympathetic but modern and luxurious at the same time. Very similar to the other house that we sold, which we reviewed last month in Los Angeles, Caught in well, Rip and Lee in Elstonwick in, in East Elwood, Kilda, East St Kilda, whatever you'd like to call for it. For the price of one, what an amazing home that was, and a great result as well. And viewers like Sidwell Avenue, we'd encourage you just to drive into Los Angeles Court. Uh, you can only get through Los Angeles Court by coming in from Brighton Road. That's correct. But you know, if you think about that pocket there, you've got a you know, quite a dense population mm -hmm. in terms of a lot of apartment buildings, a lot of a townhouse, a lot of single fronted homes, and then you drive into Los Angeles Court, and it is absolutely reminiscent of Los Angeles. Yeah, it's like stepping probably... back in time as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a, so, a nice little enclave of Rip and Lee. Uh, Melrose, uh, the suburb of Melrose in Los Angeles, it's very similar to this Los Angeles. Well, I'm court. not as well travelled as you, no, Phil. Well, uh, I've been I, to Caulfield. I, I clearly I've take been... my craft seriously and I travel the world looking at properties, but You're Los indeed. Angeles Court, I can tell you, is a world standard street or court. And we had three bidders at that auction, Phil, and we ended we up selling it, but again, sadly, we can't tell you the price. 
Although we could probably give a few clues away, Phil. We were quoting 1.8 plus. Yes, and plus we did sell us. Plus, I can indeed. Assure you there was a plus. And as it should have, because it was the most gorgeous home. Renovated beautifully by the owner and had a Jack Merlot garden. Shout Superb. out to Jack Merlot, who does some of Australia's best gardens, including my own. Yes, I don't mind yes. saying. One day I'll get to pay that garden <laughs> off. You're still, it's like the hex fees for school. You're still slowly paying That's off the garden that keeps on giving, that's for sure. We also had a great sale, Phil, in Camden. We had a block of flats, which, yep. which I think you've got the stats on this, but I think we would... Okay, so... That's my opinion, um, though. Look, I'm very proud to say this, Jeremy, and you've been involved in a lot of these sales, but uh, if, you, if you talked about the average Australian agency, in their lifetime and career, the average Australian agent or agency might make one block of flat sale in their lifetime. Yeah, if. Uh, I think that was our 53rd block of apartments. We've got a great specialty in selling those. And viewers, if you do have a block of apartments for management or for sale, we are the experts on the ground. Sorry about that plug. But Camden Street, a great address. Yes. Uh, comes off Carlisle Street. Hot through, pocket. Through to Inkerman Street. A block of six older style Art Deco, I suppose yep. we describe those. Yep. Very run down. In fact, you know, I, I was a bit scared to walk through some of them. But we say I, we use the term livable very loosely. Yes, when we talk exactly. About Not livable for me necessarily, but livable for somebody. Uh, but what I would say is that the thing I'm thrilled about that we sold it to a couple that I think will do quite a significant renovation. And if you think about it, that block, would have been built in the 40s, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and therefore. I don't reckon it's had any substantial work done it for 75 years, give or take. Yeah. These buyers will put a lot of money back into it and give it a new lease of life. Uh, and what a great spot. Doesn't get any better. So that would round out some of the big sales that yep. we had. Yep. But on a smaller scale, not that we don't like the small stuff. Well, they say small fish taste the sweetest, yes. Jeremy. Well, I don't eat a lot of fish, so I'll defer to you for comment there. Unit 2 at 174 Barclay Street in St Kilda, another great St Kilda address there, right next door to Big Mouth or up the road from yes, Big Mouth, yes. um, Ackland Street around the corner, hot spot, sold that two bedroom apartment before auction for a result just in excess of 600 at 605,000, yep. uh, which was sold before. And I saw the sold sticker on the board today as I was uh, picking up my new reading glasses. I hope it was front and centre and it squared was. off. No, it was beautiful. Yeah, good. It was beautiful, but I was picking up my new reading glasses. Uh, and the reason I'm saying that is I was picking them up from St Kilda Eye Clinic. Oh, I, uh, I care. Another St plug. St Kilda Eye Care in Ackland Street. Special shout out to Vicky and to Liz, who are the proprietors there. Uh, if you need your eyes checked, and everybody needs their eyes checked, go and see those two because Especially they when are Especially when you get fabulous. old. No, no. Uh, eyesight problems should be checked. Away. Everybody's eyesight should be checked every year. So special shout out to the, to the ladies at St Kilda Eye Care uh, because they're great. Yes, and good. local plug. Oh, I'm glad you got that out of the way, Phil. I can just hear the cash registers clicking as we talk. Not that we don't get paid for comments, no, do we? No, we don't, but I no. may well get a discount on my next pair well, of glasses. Let's hope so. Uh, Phil, after that we went, I think you did the auction at 8 at 21 Dickens Street. Now, every time I say Dickens Street, Gary has a little silly joke about heavens to Dickens or some sort of Dickens well, remark. What, the Dickens? It's something, and, and no, no, I hope you're have, not going to do that. Well, he doesn't have a great sense of humour. He doesn't have it. a we, sense of humour. He does have other attributes, but humour's not one of them. Uh, but that was an amazing <laughs> result. Um, we held that auction inside yes, because it was yep. uh, threatening to rain, and we had about 50 people inside. I think we've got some footage of that. Some we should. Some photos. Yes. Uh, but what an amazing apartment, beautifully renovated. Now, that building was built in the 60s. Yeah. And once again, what we find with a lot of these apartments is nobody renovated them for 30, 40 years. That was a classic 60s building with a 2012 overhaul mm -hmm. and what a great job the and owners a big did. Big apartment, such yeah, scope yeah. about it. Uh, on the other scale of apartments in Wando Grove, an apartment block that I spend a lot of time with, it's probably my it might be my tenth sale in how, that block. How many apartments in that building? I think there's there 12, are twelve. Isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so you've sold. There's probably 10, four that I haven't another, sold. Another two to go, and then you can just start again. Correct. That's what. I, although I have sold a couple twice. Yep. So right. uh, great result there. That sold for four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Two bedroom balcony. Um, just a great little startup. I love. There. I love that building. That's a great location. Walking distance to our office, the Arm yep. Village, uh, where viewers, by the way, there is a, apparently the redevelopment of the old supermarket yes. is going to take place. Yep. And I'm told that a subsidiary of Woolworths, which has to be Thomas Ducks, 
Is I'm thinking right? he's going to move in there. I so thought it was a that's Woolies. Orong Road, Caulfield North, with St Kilda East across the road. So that's the story that that I've got. Interesting. Um, but I love that little pocket there. But that building, and we'll show it up on screen again. What a great facade it's got with that kind of stone wall yeah. effect. It's yeah. just great. It reminds me of um, what's that show with the the family. From the oh, 70s. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The fan, the, oh, it's such a great show. The Brady Bunch. No, not the Brady Bunch. Oh, I don't you're know what you're of, talking about. Okay, I'm thinking of another one. Mm, uh, we'll get some to that another, vision, perhaps. another time. Phil, let's talk about some stuff that's coming up, because that's what's sold. Yep. So that's done. Yes, done and done. Vendor's dusted. happy, that's buyer's happy. Now, isn't it? it is. It's rear view mirror stuff, but yep. let's look forward. Let's look forward. Yep. Let's look to the future and beyond. And we're sitting here at Sidwell Avenue, but there are a number of other apartments that we're going to bring to the market over the next few weeks. One of which I want to talk at length about at 67 Shelley Street. This is a gorgeous older style apartment. Yep. Um, I believe the name of the block is Rochelle. And we'll have some pictures coming up on that shortly, but this is just a, literally a stone's throw, although you might have to use your right arm, not your wrong arm, to the beach. Okay. This well, is literally across the road from Elwood Shirley Beach. Shirley Street in Elwood is a great address, but how good is this building and how fabulous is this apartment? Uh, and bigger than the obvious typical apartments that they're building today, two bedrooms in good size, a separate lounge room and a dining room, kitchen with a meals area, uh, separate laundry, good size bathroom. Uh, and that bit of an is outdoor area. just the best location and a seriously good looking building. And a very attractive price. Yep. Similar to this one at six fifty to seven hundred thousand dollars. We're gonna get some good interest there and we'll be doing the auction there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Philip, on the second of May at eleven thirty, and thankfully I have the pleasure of doing that one. Get yourself set for summer by buying that property. Settle on it in 60 day settlement in May, June, July. Spend winter there getting everything ready. In front for of the fireplace, the Phil. Summer months when Elwood just goes ballistic. Whilst we're talking about the summer months, Ackland Street really is a spot where you want to hang out when the sun is in the sky and the mood is uh, very much in summertime. Because on top of Abbey Road, right in the middle of Ackland Street yep. at 131 Ackland Street, we've got a great offering. A um, never to be sold, never been sold before. Yes, it's about three years old. It's a it's a first floor, great one bedroom apartment, bigger than your average. Architect with a great design area. by Amnon Weber. It's that a is great correct. Building you've made a lot of sales in that building. If you're looking for an investment, putting living aside mm -hmm. because it'd be mo the most spectacular place to live. If you're looking for an investment, in my opinion. Anything in a building like that Cannot is go wrong. just got to be a great investment. To it's live, hot a, real estate, live above a vibrant strip shopping centre, walking distance to the beach with a tram at your front door, that just ticks so many boxes. You for know, me. 18 years ago, minus my two children and my wife, yep. I would have killed to live in that position. Uh -huh. And I reckon you would have wanted to have lived there too. Well, Gary and I, just a bit of history, Gary and I started our you know, real estate career working for an agency in Ackland Street. Yes. So that was way back when the horse and cart delivered milk to your doorstep. But uh, uh, Most great, of St Kilda great. hadn't been subdivided at that stage, <laughs> is that correct? It was all just basically wasteland. Just land. Just land. And then after we're going to go to Ackland Street, Phil, we're going to mosey on down to Barclay Street where we have the most superb architecturally designed three level Yep. Three bedroom townhouse at apartment or townhouse number five at uh, 82 to 84 Barclay Street in St Kilda. Yep. Uh, Lior Samuel back on his old stomping ground in St Kilda, going to be auctioning that on the 17th of May, suggesting a price of 850 to 920. That is great real estate and in a hot position in the heart yeah. of St Kilda as well. You just well. can't go wrong around there. Livability is off the Richter scale. Uh, and in terms of investment, we think anything walking distance, obviously, to the facilities we've just talked about. Indeed. You can't go wrong. Chapel Street, we're going to have something on Chapel Street at 14A, Unit 9. Again, that's in that around that five, uh, $500,000 range. A very nice clinker brick, older style, beautifully renovated two bedroom apartment. Uh, Nikki and Limor are going to have the prep, the prep, the pleasure rather, of bringing that to the market. And, yes. And I'll be doing that auction at all. Terrific. Uh, another one that I want to talk about, we've got a number of offerings at the bottom end of the scale. The, the small one bedroom, or, yep. or when I say small, this one is quite big in Alfred Square. Yes. This is on the seventh floor, Phil, with the most superb views of the water and St Kilda Beach. That's going to be going up again, Nikki and Limor, and the, or it's actually Limor on the 23rd of May, uh, suggesting around the mid, four, mid fours plus there, yes. a great offering. But for those that can't afford such salubrious addresses and beautiful views, you can head down to Grey Street, apartment 13 at number 33 Grey Street. Daniel McMarker and Michael Jonas are going to be bringing this lovely little studio apartment to the marketplace. Beautiful older style building just across the road from the Oslo... 
Backpackers something yep. other, you know, that, yep. that iconic building. And again, that'll be in the high ones, and that's going up on the 23rd of May. Great investment. And if you've got buying. a self-managed superannuation fund, uh, St Kilda's got quite a lot of these studios that sell between one hundred eighty and $250,000. Yep. They're very bite-sized uh, investments, and for a self-managed super fund, uh, you can buy those ten of them pretty easily, mm-hmm. uh, and over time they have increased really well. They will. They will. A good investment. So that's a lot of the offerings that are coming up, Phil. Uh, in terms of the marketplace, it is pumping. This it, marketplace, it, it really is. I uh, haven't seen it better than this in a long time. Phil. Long may this market last, and it looks like it will because interest rates are stable, and probably the outlook is for them to be reducing again. Uh, and as interest rates just keep coming down, yeah. there is a flight to quality. There's a flight to real estate. Uh, where you can buy properties and get three, four, five percent yield. So why would you have cash in the bank when you can buy an appreciating asset? Correct. So the, the, oh, sorry, you were go, you were finished there. Well, were I was you? about to say when money in the bank is just inflation eats it away and is showing you yields of two to three percent. You could run a show on Sky News think, with that sort of might. financial back. You you could move over that Paul Clitheroe. What's the guy from Channel Nine with the funny head on the Today Show? I don't think we'll mention we his name we now that you've described that. him as having a funny head. Well, funny to me, maybe not to others. But uh, the last time we filmed, Phil, it was sun was in the sky. Uh, since then, it's a bit more, it's a bit quieter, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit darker. It's chilly, I don't know about you, but uh, we're both early risers, getting yes. up early to exercise yes. around that 6 o'clock a.m. getting up. And I've got to tell you, it's getting harder It's and dark, harder. it's cold, and it's often wet, but daylight savings is gone. But footy's back, yep. on a brighter note, so footy's back. And a, a shout out to my son who had his first football game, or his second year, but his first football game for this year on Sunday, and they won, even though the AFL tell us that we can't keep scores. I think they know the score, so well done to the Ajax and under nine comments. shout out to my son who was in the reserves uh, and broke his arm for the second season in a row, mm. taking him home from hospital this morning. Oh. He's not a happy boy, and I think his football career, some, somebody's telling him, time to give There's it up. There's a message in that, Jacob, but uh, fight the good fight. You've done well anyway with two broken arms. Jeremy, very exciting what's happening out of your office. Um, winter comes, but winter leaves us very quickly, and uh, Blink of an eyelid selling in St Kilda. Uh, we're always busy. Winter is busy, but getting set for the huge spring and summer that's coming your way. Indeed. Thanks for watching. Have a great month, and we'll see you soon. See you next time.